Hey guys, this is Stunna2150 here. I'm going to make a tutorial on Photoshop CS4. I've noticed that a lot of people, or in my case, no people that I know of have made a tutorial on this. So I'm going to attempt my own. And what I'm talking about is this. An abstract image with variation of colors. I'm going to do these specific colors. Okay. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to want to start off with a blank image preferably black because that's what abstract looks best on my image is going to be 1920 by 1200 since that's my screen resolution so what we're going to do is once you download some abstract brushes that you want okay click on the brushes tab right here and we're going to go and we're going to pick whatever brush we want let's go with um, not that, let's do this, okay. Pick the size you want. You're going to want your foreground color to be white, absolutely white. Okay, click a few times. Now, mind you, because I'm recording, it's using a lot of my processing power, so the things that I'm going to do, it's going to look very slow, so just bear with me, because as we all know, Photoshop is a beast. Let's take this one. Put this one in there too. Now, once you're done applying your um, abstract brushes, you're going to press Control J to copy that layer and add a new one. You're going to take that layer, you're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. You're going to set it to about I would say five pixels. Yeah, five pixels would be good. Okay. Then you're going to reduce that from occupancy 100%. Let's do about 50%. To give it that glowing effect instead of that just raw, sharp image effect. Okay, so once you're done with that, you're going to press a new layer. So you're going to go down here, click that. It's going to give you a new layer. Now what you're going to do with that new layer is you're going to take your brush set, you're going to pick this brush that you see at the top of your list, it says 300, and it's blurred out on the edges, preferably that. Depending on your pixel size, you're going to want to lower or raise it. Pick whatever color you want. I'm going to go with, for my first one, baby blue, and I'm going to go to, and just color it wherever you guys want it. Alright, about there, and do over here too. Okay, once you're done with that, pick your next color. I'm going to go with a pinkish purple. Color the other side in. I hate when my computer goes slow like this. Anyways, once that's done, you're going to want to set this layer. You're going to right click it. Go to Blending Options. Pull it over here. You're going to go from Normal all the way down to Color. And as you can see, the picture already looks somewhat the way it's supposed to. Now, if you like it this way, you can stop this tutorial right now, but I'm going to keep going. You're going to press OK. You're going to make another layer. And that, with that layer, you're going to go to Filter, Render, Clouds. Now, it's going to come out like this. Don't flip out. We're going to fix this. Then you're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur again. We're going to go for a 10 pixel this time. Uh, yeah, 10. Click OK. Then what you're going to do is right click it, go to Blending Options. You're going to go to, I I think it was, yes, luminosity. Or not. <laughs> I'm 
sorry guys, it's not luminosity, it's actually vivid light. And you'll see your image look like this with a little bit extra sexy glow to it. I'm gonna press OK. If you like it this way, you can leave it. Or you can adjust the luminosity of it. I personally like it. Uh, I'll put mine at 69%. So that's basically how you do it. That's all it really is. You can add extra colors. You can do whatever you want, basically. It's all up to you. Alright guys, that's my tutorial. Have a nice day.